commonly which we come across in the field condition is the dermatophilosis dermatophilosis and you could have appreciated this type of lesions you could have appreciated this type of lesions in the practice the farmer will be telling that the animal is having lesions in the fetlock region first the lesions will start from the uh, fetlock region either in the fore limb or the hind limb and it will start like a fissures and it will ascend it will be ascending up to the hog joint and then it will ascend upwards so this case is a complicated one it's a delayed presentation and it is a generalized dermatophilosis when this type of cases are presented it cannot get cured so when they are presented at the earliest stage it will be and you are appreciating the lesions at the earliest stage and if you that start the treatment at the earliest time means the recovery will be very much fast so this is a dermato dermatophilosis generalized one so it's a bacterial origin dermatophilosis is a bacterial one the dermatophilus congolensis and it commonly uh, is seen in cattle sheep and goat and sometimes in horses are also uh, is commonly noticed and a pig dog and cat are rarely affected so we are getting cases in sheep and goat and cattle very commonly in the field conditions and the most prevalent in the young animals and the animals which are exposed to the moisture and animals which are kept always in the moisture area or the mud area or the cattle shed which are in the always in the water logged and the muddy muddy um, the sandy area are more prone for this type of dermatophilosis and sometimes immunosuppressed hosts are easily susceptible for this dermatophilosis and the typical is the hairs are mated together that is the, the paint brush lesions we used to call as paint brush lesions the hairs are mated together and they appear as a paint brush lesions they are in the first stage and in the second stage the crust will be formed the crust and the scab will be formed and that is in the second stage and thickening of the skin the just now i have showed on picture that is the stage 3 accumulation of cutaneous keratinized material sometimes it may be looking like a wart like lesions about 0.5 to 2 cm in time so they are the stage 3 when the animal is presented to you in the stage 3 it is very much difficult to get completely cured when it is presented in stage 1 and stage 2 it is very easy to treat it the cases so here also the same thing the diagnosis just by appreciating the clinical signs and you can go for the skin biopsy in needed cases and the cytological examination and culture so here this is the earliest phase of uh, presentation see the hind limb the hind limb the pastern region all the fissures are noticed and uh, it will be in the ascending up to the hog joint it will spread up to the hog joint and then it will spread completely throughout the body when you are appreciating the lesions in the fetlock region itself immediately if you start the treatment immediately within one or two weeks it will get completely recovered you have to keep the animal away from the muddy area water logged area so you have to keep away from that area and you can start the treatment so how to identify these things in the field level you can take that crust materials from the area from the hind limb or wherever the lesion is noti noticed the fresh crust with the saline they are collected and you can put it in a slide and you mix it with the normal saline and mix it well and mix it well and uh, make a impression smear on the slide and after drying you can stain it with the gemsa stain and see it under oil immersion you can see like this type of branching of filaments indicative of dermatophilus congolensis very easy to identify wherever we are practicing in our field conditions so we can do the only the thing you have to collect the crust like materials mix it with normal saline and put it in the slide and mix it well and make a smear and dry it and make a uh, stain it with the gemsa stain and weave it under low this oil immersion so i weave it in oil immersion so you can able to appreciate the branching filaments and uh, fragments which will be appreciable so this one is a the generalized dermatophilosis this already thickening is there keratinization is there so this is a stage 3 type of dermatophilosis so this is also stage 3 dermatophilosis so this type of lesions will be present all over the body region so when you identify at the earliest phase it is very easy to treat it so antibiotics commonly it will respond to very much to streptopenicillin streptopenicillin of course 5 to 7 days and uh, or amoxicillin also can be used but uh, i have used many all the cases streptopenicillin gives very uh, good uh, effective in treating this dermatophilosis and the lime sulfur dip is very ideal so you can uh, paste you can apply sulfur ointment 
it is very uh, much effective or you can apply powder nadine as a spray or chlorhexidine spray can be applied over the area and in uh, some of the farmers we used to advise are not affordable farmers we are they cannot able to get uh, repeated uh, ointment and all we can get a very good result with the turmeric with the neem paste also apart from the using the antibiotic and the vitamin a as a supportive therapy you can give uh, turmeric with the neem paste that will also give very good effect so we used to apply powder and in spray one time and the turmeric with the neem paste and the another time morning and evening if you are doing it regularly you can get a very good result and ask the owner to keep the animal away from the um, uh, mud area or uh, water logged area so that uh, you keep the cattle shed dry for a few days so that it will become very easy recovery will be noticed some practitioners they have got a good result when they are mixing with the sodium thiosulfate with mix it with the powder and add in and make it as a paint that also will be useful giving a very good empirical treatment response and the supportive treatment with the vitamin ad in alternate days can be also given ascorbic acid can be given intravenously whenever it is needed as a supportive and uh, always whenever you are treating a case of dermatophilosis or uh, taking a sample you always use a hand glove and use it as a, because of a zoonotic importance sometimes it may be contaminated with the maggot wound and all and you have to treat it accordingly so dermatophilosis whenever it is presented at the earliest very good effective treatment it will respond very effectively for the treatment and complete recovery will be noticed when it is presented in the stage 3 the response will be very much poor so the differential diagnosis of uh, this uh, dermatophilosis includes a zinc deficiency and uh, d oil the use of uh, d oil rice bran in the feed and idiopathic vasculitis these are all the differential diagnosis we have to keep it in mind sometimes some of my friends they used to discuss that we have treated the dermatophilosis case for 10 days with the streptopenicillin and all other external application no response at all and uh, a farm it is in a farm more than uh, Uh, 20 animals, 30 animals got affected with the same type of lesions. Means not responding cases. You have to think about the feed oriented to feed. The DIL, the use of the DIL rice bran will lead to similar type of uh, lesions in the fore limb and hind limb, like fissures and crust will be noticed. That you have to take in care, and uh, you should not. You have to stop that feed material. DIL rice bran should be stopped from the uh, feeding so that you can. Uh, treat it accordingly and the response will be there otherwise it will be very difficult to recover and sometimes the other differential diagnosis include zinc deficiency some fissured like crust are noticed in the leg and the ventrum region so you think about zinc deficiency so it uh, you can supplement the zinc sulfate orally that will respond to the treatment so the differential diagnosis include three things dermatophilosis a differential diagnosis zinc deficiency use of a dioil rice bran in the feed and idiopathic vasculitis idiopathic vasculitis in the sense it will be very much erythematous in lesions erythematous means reddish color lesions will be the notice so that you think about these things so very easy to identify dermatophilosis and treat it accordingly